Hello, I am Agathis, I am, I am, and I am online, and this is part 7 of Sunless Sea. Uh, when we finished, we just bought a load of stuff in the Iron Republic, and we're heading back to London basically as quick as we can to try to turn some of this into a profit. So we did have news, which we haven't used up yet. Um, there was an enemy ship around here somewhere. I've got to keep a real eye out for us. We're kind of low on... Well, we're going to stay away from that thing, I think. We're kind of low on hull points, but... We're just going to have to... Soldier on on that one. Where's the map going? Come on, map that one. Let's see if we can just go this way a tiny bit. There we go. Uh, there's nothing much up there. Let's just keep going this way. We've got fuel, we might as well try and explore at least a little bit. I don't know what we're going to find. It looks like there might be something there. Maybe. Whoa! We're out of here. Stay away from that. See, that's another reason to maybe keep your lights off sometimes, because... If I get chased by a cracked pirate ship, I'm dead. Yeah. I'm staying well away from that. Yeah, we racked up a little bit of terror on that corner. That's not good. We'll stop off at Quaker's Island again. Quaker's Island, Quaker's Island, Quaker's Island. Anything over here? Have we unlocked any space here? Yeah. We'll swing round to the east a little bit, see if we can spot anything of interest. Ooh, an island. Let's just cruise a little closer to see if that's anything we can explore. We're okay for fuel. We've got reasonable amounts of supplies. Patrick's Lot. We don't know what that is exactly. Is one of these a... Um, is one of these a, a port or anything? It's just a, just a lighthouse, is that it? It's just a lighthouse. Oh, more islands here. See, look, on the map here, we're in the middle of this bit and it hasn't unlocked. Oh, we were a second ago. Oh, oh, what's this? This looks interesting. Is this something? Calder's Morn. Uh, that looks like a bridge. Oh, look, there's a dock. There's a dock. Right. Guider's. Guide us mourn. Dock. The mourn is a stalagmite, vast as a crag, and its foot has no safe harbours. We've never been here before. Does it have shops? It does. Wow! Fuel is really expensive here. Supplies are twice the price. Solace fruit you can buy. Okay. You can sell all this stuff. You can buy a concealed compartment. Ah, so that would allow you to conceal contraband. 
Very interesting. Okay. If we ever have 750, we might consider that. Shipyard? No. Right, what do we got here? Guider's Morn. The moor is a stalagmite vast as a crag, and its foot has no safe harbours. The Corsair Citizel nestles halfway up. An intricate system of winches takes the strain, and your ship rises slowly from the Z. Her hull creaks in protest. Grizzled sailors growl, groan and cling to the stanchions. Higher and higher. Now the undersea shimmers like glass below. Children clambering in crevices cheer and wave alarmingly. The winch motor slows and you hang in a cradle next to a red bowed pirate cutter. This does not look like a good place to be, but okay. An evening at the Arant Limpet. A drinking den by the dock. A tough challenge. No. Explore the morn. That's free. That's a free encounter. Pay the loitering dock worker for his strategic information. Oh. I'm supposed to pay this guy five echoes? Shit. Ah, this was the... This was the place I was supposed to visit for the Admiralty. Um, price has gone up. I hope he's safe here. I can get it for free? You get, kind of get the feeling that you sh That's going to go not as well as that, but okay. Um... Overhear rumours of a pirate poet? Sure. Lies, nonsense and glimmers. Some say she's a clay man who freed herself with the power of verse. Possible. Others insist she's the personal muse of the king with a hundred hearts. Unlikely. One claims she sails on a living ship made of the still screaming skulls of her victims. More sober voices mutter that no, it's just an Alkyr's class vessel. Whatever the truths, few have fought her and survived to tell the tale. Only the bravest of the captains risk the lonely part of the Z where her flag is set to fly. I'm guessing that's going to be a boss of some kind for later. Didn't get anything from that, did we? Nope. Well, let's let's take the information. Um, you can't blame me for trying. I want to get home. Sick of this place. London, eh? How is the old monster? Wait, they'll see. Here's your report. I'm off. The report... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The report is barely legible. Perhaps that's part of the code. The Admiralty will know. You've completed your commission. Return to the Admiralty. We now have strategic information. Um, let's explore the morn then. We've got an encounter. Let's use it up. Um, we either use it here or, you know, we, we'll get another one. Let's see. There's a surprising quantity of actual landscape on the morn. It's vertical, admittedly, but once you find the beast paths and urchin roads, you can traverse it as you would a rocky moor, with an additional throatful of lurching terror. A patriotic dispute. A crew of Chelonate hunters exchange heated insults with a canate privateer. It looks likely to end in blood. Hmm. Leave. There's nothing to be gained here. Raise your own flag. The Chelonials are savage ghouls who live in a dead turtle. The Caganians are decadent cowards who can't hold a kingdom together. London is the sole bright light of civilization in the Neath. Perhaps you should point these things out. A tough challenge. 34% ch chance of success. Side with the Kanganians. They may be foreign, but at least they're halfway sophisticated. 85%. 
Side with the Chelonians. They may be uncouth, but at least they're brave. 100% chance. Um, hmm. Well, at least... I I'm guessing that the rewards will be proportional here. Let's go with... I don't have any money. We can't lose any money. We don't want to lose any crew. We've got plenty of iron. I reckon let's... Let's take the lowest challenge. Go on. A victory! The Chelonians are a fierce crew, but with your assistance, the Kaganians send them running. Their privateer lieutenant still wears the red and gold uniform of the Canate Navy. Although his epaulets are gone and you doubt he's entitled to it. He clasps your hand. Thank you. Show this sign if you ever come to Khan's heart. He drops a pewter horsehead talisman in your hand. You'll find a warmer welcome. One favour, a pewter horsehead. Nice. And is that it? Nothing awaits me here. That's it. Um, a high risk challenge? No, I don't think so. Let's get out of here. And yeah, let's see if we can cut across a little bit without running into a pirate ship of some sort. Stay in the in the lighthouse beam. Burning fuel pretty fast. Fog. Oh, we're nearly at Quaker's Haven. There she is. Let's get in there. Hello, Quaker's Haven. Ah, <sighs> Quaker's Haven. We're nearly home. Nearly home, boys and girls. Um, we need an echo to chat to the fishermen. We should have got one echo from somewhere. What a shame. Um, eh, let's explore the shore. Oh, more, more tales. Okay. Oh, I don't have a sea story to give him, but okay, same guy. Gained a chain of terror. Gained five terror. He didn't take any money because I don't have any. Um, it's a shame. We can't get the port report. Bugger. Okay. Let's get out of here. We're going to stop by the sisters, I think. See if we can get something from them. Oop. Balls. Going. No, 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 no. That's it. We'll stop by. See, our, our crew are hungry now. I want to get some weird message in a minute about what we can do about that. We'll stop by here. Ah, maybe we can get a sea story here. Lightship. I'll give them the news. I've got a sea story. Excellent. I'm going to keep that for that encounter. Um.
We're going to go up to the sisters, see if we can get a free lunch with the sisters. Uh, which is the best way to go? Um, let's go this way. We're basically there. I think bad things happen when hunger gets to the end here. Hunger 72. Come on. Get into the dock. Dock, dock, dock. Hunter's keep. Oh, they're not here! not here. We used our encounter up. We can recognize the island, okay. Alright, so let's just try and make it home. Um, I'm gonna head this way, okay. Now if we don't lose any crew before we get back. Come on, nearly there. Don't starve, yes. Don't starve. What? A missing Zayla. At roll call, there's one face too few and you don't like the uneasy hush that descends. Your crew are on the brink of starvation. Has one committed the primal crime of cannibalism? Bloody hell. Investigate. There is a spirit or god in the neath whose name is not spoken. He is worshipped with candles and with the frenzied consumption of flesh. Has someone here turned to that worship? Well, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Leave it alone. I lost a crew. And gained terror. Oh, that's not good. Why couldn't you just wait a bit longer? Oh dear. We'll have to hire some crew when we get in here. Ooh, that was tough. The prices of... Uh, the price of failure is great here. Let's see. So first of all, before we do anything else, um, we sell the coffee. 176, yeah. We've got no supplies left. Buy supplies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Carl, it uses up the cash like crazy. You really got to worry about. It. And then fuel. We've got no money for fuel. We're gonna have to buy. We're gonna have to buy fuel here. Um. Yeah. I don't want to use up those items because um, they might be useful for something. I don't want to use up this strange catch. It might be useful. The Admiral. Let's see. Port reports. Let's do this first. Hunter's Keep. Fine. Fuel and five echoes. The Canal. Five echoes. Iron Republic. Ten echoes. Lost some terror. One fuel. Fine. Uh, any more? Mm, was there any more reports? No. Strategic information. I guess that was the... That was the mission that we had, right? Strategic information. 150 echoes! Thank goodness. And another favour. Right. Good. Now we're back in business. 
Um, we're back in business. S what does, does he need anything? No. Um. Retrieve strategic information from the Empire of Hands, far to the east. Ugh, no idea what that is. Okay. Um, that's it. Red honey. Don't have any of that. Um, whispers in the Great Game. Okay. The Scholar. Um, I've got two memories of Distant Shores. Okay. Um, a tale, I want to keep that one. Strange Catch. Let's see. A sea story. It only gives us ten echoes. I don't think it's worth it. Memory of Distant Shores. It gives us ten. The artifact gives us a hundred, but I kind of wanted to save that to see if anybody else wants it. We could give the catch to this person, okay. Lodgings. We'll take the news. Uh, we could rest to get rid of some terror. We have 18 terror. That's quite a lot. Um, cost us money. Um, do you have any of this guy needed? No. Rose's Wharf. Unread Log. No. Perhaps not. I don't think we've been making much money on this trading malarkey, to be honest. Um, we'll see. A little gift. I've had that one before. I might come back to that. A very fine evening to you, Captain. My, what you might call mentor, is very fond of adventurous sea captains, and he would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation, on account of he is so fond of sea captains. Be behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a dray, piled high with fuel and supplies. Accept the dispensation, we need 15 points of hold space, or come back later. It would be embarrassing to have to leave it on the dock. Inquire further. Who is this patron? Is there a catch? He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment just across the river, what is much patronised by sailors and by men of wit and vinegar. A public house. And there is no obligation to speak of. My patron would only hope that you might remember him kindly. And I suppose if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. Let's, um, leave that one for now. Hmm. Uh, so what do we do now? Uh, it's hard to tell. Um, where's our map? We can't look at the, can we look at the map? Map. So, I don't think there's anything in that box. I think we've we've just sort of skirted around it. We've we've been through it and found nothing. Adam's doom was that whirlpool. Gator's mountain, we, uh, Gator's morn, we stopped at. There's still room to be exploring this area, I guess. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we can. We can always stop at the ladies there. I'm interested to unlock the Mutton Island thing. Maybe we'll just do another route. Mutton Island. Up around here. And then back through the sisters or something. Um, What's in our hold? We've got this strange catch. 
You can use it in combat to lure a sea beast to the surface. We've got news, we've got fragments, we've got a Z story, we've got a secret. Five Tales of Terror. Somebody must buy these Tales of Terror. Don't know who though. An outlandish artifact. This book with the thing, because Visions of the Surface, we could sell those at the Nether Bite. Memories of Distant Shores, they sell for 10. They sell for 12 up in Vendor Bite. A pewter horse head, you've made Kaganian friends. Journal. Okay, that's the sisters. A new recruit. Now, how do we get a new recruit? I guess we don't. Okay. Admiralty's favour for. We've got to go to this fungal... See... Um, one of the things that, I, that gets me about this game is... We had this quest earlier to take this Gnomic Galavan to two places, right? And... We took him to the first one. But now, this is changed and we don't know where to take him next. I remember that it was called the fungal something or other, but it doesn't tell you here that that's on the list. Um, I mean, it's it, it's kind of still on your quest log, but I don't know where. It doesn't tell you. Ah. <sighs> All right. So what else we got? Um, can we speak to any of the crew? I think we've spoken to our crew before. Um, we've spoken to him. We've told him a secret to improve our hearts, I guess. He told us he wants to go to the Sea of Lilies. Fine. Um, what about the surgeon? Let's speak to the surgeon. Invite her to dine with us. Offer her a secret. Okay, we don't have any of that. I don't know what that means. Proposition her for marriage. Nice. Um, let's invite her to dine with us. Go on then. Precise bite sizes. The cooked flesh arrives still in its shell, from the claws, eight legs, body and head. She renders a dozen neat bite-sized piles of shredded flesh, sutured with mushrooms or pinned together with a need needle of chilton. Perhaps she'd missed her calling as a chef. She denies it. My mother was the surgeon in the first city. You might say that knife work runs in the family. There is a wicked, quirking smile at the corner of her mouth. Then there are the rumours about my father. She would deny any truth in those. So we lost an occurrence. So we lost a supply. And now we are learning about the cladery heir. Her father. Ah! We can use the strange catch on this. She has become more talkative when she has something to cut. Perhaps you can get her to say more about her father. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Who was he then? There's flensing, deboning, an orderly arranging of scales from large to small. This was the creature's favourite organ, she says, working briskly with tweezers and blade. Don't touch it, the purple bits are toxic. How can you have a favourite organ? I mean, I quite like my heart. I would be kind of lost without it. 
I wouldn't say that my liver was my favorite organ, but it's still kind of important. She only turns to personal matters when she has a chance to rinse her fingers. I get my proficiency with metal from both sides of the family, she says, watching your expression closely. Then, Mother was a favourite with Mr. Iron. She says that they only worked together, that Mr. Iron sponsored her work and provided her with tools, sharper tools that do not bend so easily. So, we've lost learning about the cladery heir and we are now aware of her claims of parentage and we've lost the strange catch so to unlock that we need a live specimen Mr. Iron truly alright well we've got a few more choices to make and next time maybe we'll have that little gift and maybe we'll set off on a new voyage so Please leave a like if you like the video, please subscribe if you like the channel. I'm Agathis, I'm online, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.